Hi everyone, it's Mrs. Azar. I wanted to talk to you about drawing flowers with a flower that I found outside um, on my front lawn. So if you um, have access to some outdoor space, you might actually find one of these. This is a dandelion and they're um, often called the weed, but they're found all over New York. So um, hopefully you have an opportunity to get outside just a little bit and see if you can find this flower. So I'm gonna draw this and start with, again, that simple shape. This has a rounded shape for its flower. And the flower, I know, is not got a perfect circle because of all these different petal shapes. These petals are shaped like long, skinny ovals. So if you work on your long, skinny ovals for practice, you can start to get the shape of this flower. Um, of course, I like to show the darker center, and there is, if you can um, see in here, some smaller petals before they get into that center. Remember, the center part of the flower, the, the pistil. So here, I'll just start with a couple, very tiny, and then they get bigger a little bit, okay? So once I have the idea of where the petals belong, I can now do those bigger ones so that I can complete the shape of my dandelion. It doesn't have to be perfect, it just has the idea, the overall shape. Now, one thing that I want to go over is the shape of these kinds of leaves. They are an oval shape also. Um, they also have what's called a serrated edge. Serrated just means that it's jagged. Now, the points of this serrated edge do point downwards, and the top is not serrated, so I will do a bunch of these soft lines just to show where that shape is, center of the vein, and then I can start to do some of this serrated edge. So, notice I haven't done any racing because I can also incorporate some of this um, extra pencil lines into my shading because we want to color, okay? So don't be afraid if you make a mistake. But if you have to, if you can't find where your lines are, you can go back and erase, okay? Remember, we want to start using that overlapping technique that we practiced when we were doing our trees. Okay, you can draw some behind, you can draw some in front. Don't be afraid to experiment. Have fun.